Hi mamas, welcome to the Mama Makeup Corner, which is literally in my bedroom corner. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to go over kind of like a favorites and hateds. I really don't even know what to call this just yet. Like some people call it their favorite and hateds. Some people are just like, oh, these are the bad products and here are the good products. I'm just gonna tell you what I liked this month and what I didn't like. Maybe eventually we'll come up with a cute name, but for right now, I'm not that creative and I don't have anything. We're just gonna dive right in and talk about these products. I'm gonna start with the products that I didn't like so we can end on a good note with the products that I did like. So first things first, makeup wipes. I did not like the Pacifica Balancing Hemp and Lavender Makeup Removing Wipes. First off, I don't like lavender. I don't like lavender. People think I'm crazy, but I don't like lavender. I don't like the scent. And these smelled weird. I don't know if it's the hemp and lavender, but I didn't like it. It was way too overpowering. And the wipe itself was kind of rough on my skin. And when I mean rough, I don't mean like it was exfoliating. I just mean it didn't have enough actual remover in it to take my makeup off easily. You have to like scrub to get this off. So this is a pass for me. Next up, I have a Victoria's Secret body spray. This is before the rain. I like the lotion. The lotion smells great. This has no scent. It doesn't smell anything like what's in the lotion. And I wanted to do it as a pair, you know, lotion and body spray. Then I keep my scents, you know, the same. This has no scent. And I, I almost used the whole thing trying to make sure, you know, I didn't just willy-nilly not smell anything. This just is, you know, meh, not that good. If any of you have, um, you know, purchased the Victoria's Secret body scents before, let me know what you think. I think it's a pass. Next up, I have something that I'm assuming is an indie brand. I'm not even sure. It's Pure Bellissimo, Bellissimo? <laughs> Pure Bellissimo Skincare. It's like in a jar like this and it's even got like this handmade sticker. So I'm assuming it's an indie brand. So I feel really bad and sorry if you can hear my baby in the background. My husband's gone to play practice and I am home with the boys and my baby. So anyways, I actually bought this because of my baby. You know, I have stretch marks and they were really itchy and I wanted to see if this would help. It's an aloe, pure aloe vera belly mask to hydrate, nourish, and soothe skin. It more or less just made my skin feel sticky. And I've used aloe vera before, like straight from a plant and stuff from a bottle, but this made me feel sticky and I didn't. it didn't dry down. So I'm not a huge fan. I'm gonna see if there's anything else from this company though that I like because it is an indie brand and I wanna support. Next. Okay, this is kind of controversial and you can see I only used half and I'm the type of person that I do not like to buy a full product if I haven't used it before, I like to buy samples. I like to use a trial size. I like to get samples for free where I can so I can test them out before I buy it. My money is important to me. I'm not gonna spend it on something that I don't even know if it works or not, right? Now, this primer, I used about half of it and I was back and forth, back and forth and decided I don't like it. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's very liquidy, it's got a lot of slip to it and when I put it on, it feels great, especially mixed with like some other primers that I have, like pore filling primers, and this I would use around the sides of my face. It was slippery, like I put my foundation on and there was significant slip. My foundation was kind of moving around and I didn't enjoy it. I prefer something that holds my makeup in place and this just didn't do it for me. Next up is another primer. This is another one that I used it once or twice to try to get a feel for it and again, it's slippery, I don't like it. It's the Estee, La <laughs> it's the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer. And I will say watery is an understatement. It's very thin, again, slips all over your face and I don't like it. As far as glowy, I don't see anything glowy. It didn't glow for me. So I don't like it. I hate this product and I don't use hate as like a oh, whatever because there's plenty of products from Smashbox that I like but I do not like this product. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation and maybe it's the fact that it's a 24 hour thing but like huh, it was cracking, it was cakey, it was dry. I put this on right as a base and I tried to put concealer on top and I tried to match a concealer to this because you know, I have red cheeks. So I was trying to match the same color concealer and it picked right up, it came right off. And I don't even know, it just was not a fun experience for me. I've used it a couple times, don't enjoy it anytime I used it, pass. Next we have another foundation and I'm sure this, this isn't a new product either. I'm not sure any of these are really new, but face tape from Tarte. 
big pass. This is almost the same as the other one. It was dry and patchy and it came up a lot. And what's weird is I, I used this with this and not only did it slip, it became bunchy. That's the word I'm looking for. It became bunchy. It would bunch in weird places that I don't even have wrinkles. Like right here is where it was and right here is where it was. And yes, I have kids that touch my face, but like they don't sit here and rub on me like that. You know what I mean? So the fact that this came off in weird places was bizarre and I don't like it. Moving on to the next products. These are all ones that I like, that I've loved this month and I was focusing on these to use them up this month and they worked fantastic. So let's get started. First things first, I do have a scent here. It's called Very Sexy from Victoria's Secret. Again, this is a trial size, just a sample, but it lasted me almost a whole month. It's the 24th today when I'm filming and this lasted the whole time and it smelled nice. You know, I sp spray it on my wrist, spray it on my neck and I like the scent a lot. Next up, I have a hair care product. It is a dry shampoo from Kristen S. It is a style reviving dry shampoo. I use this on my roots. Um, I don't get very greasy in my hair, but I don't only wash my hair once a week. And towards day five, I could use a little dry shampoo, put this in. It is great. I really like this dry shampoo. And something about it is it doesn't have a like a white cast to it when you put it in your hair. So I would put it in, let it set for a couple minutes, and then I would brush it through. And you couldn't even tell it was there. My hair would feel clean. So I will be purchasing a full size of this. Next up, I have a skincare product from Tula Skincare. I really like the Tula products. Right now I'm working on their moisturizer and I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. Um, but this is the Signature Glow Refreshing and Brightening Face Mist. I love this. It has like a little bit of shimmer to it, but when you spray it on, there's no like, there's no chunky glitter in it. It's just kind of a really brightening face mist and I liked it. It was nice and it is refreshing. I liked it. Next up, I have another face mist. I'm not sure this is really like worth the hype or if it's just water sprayed on your face, but this is the Evian Natural Mineral Water Facial Spray and Moisturizer. I wouldn't say it's like overly moisturizing, but I could tell that my skin was feeling a little bit better after putting it on. Usually I would do my skincare and then spray this on to like seal the deal and seal it all in. And I tried it a couple times throughout the day and it's nice, but I don't know if I'm just spraying water on my face or if it's actual product, but I liked it. The next product I have is Clinique Take the Day Off. This is the one for your eyes and lips and lashes. I really like this. It is very oily, but I mean, that's kind of the point. Oils take off makeup. So I really like this. It works very quickly, very easily. I would dump this just a little bit on like a reusable um, iPad and then throw that in the wash when I'm done with it. And it works great. I like it. I have a lip scrub here and I'm not sure it's still available. I don't think it is, but it's the Lizzie McGuire Bubblegum Lip Scrub from ColourPop. This was so cute and I'm not tossing the packaging. This is a collector piece in my opinion and I'm gonna keep it, but it's so cute and I used all of it and it tastes like bubblegum. It was really nice, but it's completely empty. It's a nice scrub. I've never used a lippy scrub from ColourPop, so if this is how they all are, I will definitely be repurchasing. It's a scrub that's a little bit thicker, but it does have a little bit of oiliness to it without feeling greasy. So it's almost like putting on a scrubby lip oil and then when you rinse it off, you still have a little bit left that's like smoothing and nourishing to your lips. And so I really like this. Okay, moving away from skincare and all that, we're gonna get into some makeup products that I love. So you'll see me use this in other videos. This is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I have used this all the way up. I'm sure there's I could get some more out of it, but this is old and probably expired, so I am going to get rid of it. But it is so good, and I will repurchase if it's available. And I can use it with any shadow that I want. I've used it with creams and powders, and it just doesn't make anything cling to it. It doesn't bunch, it doesn't settle in your lines. And I'm a little bit older, so I do have fine lines in my eyelids, and this doesn't settle into it. So I appreciate this a lot. Next up, I have the Tarte C Hydro Sealer. Now this is also a sample size, but I'm sure that there's still product in here. It's great for brightening. I mean, compared to my skin tone, I'm kind of tan now using self tanner, but 
this is very brightening. It doesn't settle into fine lines under my eye. And again, I am older, so I do have some. It doesn't settle, it doesn't bunch, and it doesn't look cakey. And what's great is I used several different powders with this and they all looked just fine with it. So this I love, and if I can find the full size, I will repurchase this. Another makeup product that I loved is the Gimme Brow from Benefit Brow. I had the shade three, but I've tried other shades and I liked them all just as much. I'm sure many of you use this as well and it's just great. What I love about this is I can use it on its own without a pencil. So I mean, I don't have to fill in my brows and then set it with this. I can just use this all in one. So it's great for on the go, put it in your makeup bag and use it when you need it. And that's what I did and it's out. <laughs> but this was a great brow product this month. My last and final product is a setting mist from Morphe. It's a continuous setting mist. My favorite thing is it is continuous, so you don't have to sit here and pump it. And not that that's like a huge issue, but it's nice that I can just all over my face and I'm done. You know, I don't have to sit there and pump it and make sure I got every single angle. There is a new one out today. It's the Coconut Setting Mist, but it says it's already sold out on Ulta. So I'm hoping it's either just like an item that's coming in and it hasn't released yet because I really want to get that one and test it out. But this is a great one. Okay, mamas, that is everything that I had today for the Mama Makeup Corner. This is going to be probably an end of month video that I'd like to do. Just kind of reviewing products that I liked and hated and some in the middle. I'm not sure I'll ever come up with a clever name for that sort of video because they've all kind of been taken, but you know, we'll go with the trend. If any of you have reviewed these products, please leave your review below. I'd love to know what you think. If there's something about these products that maybe I missed and you'd like to give me your tips and tricks, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember, palette of the month is still open, so if you have a suggestion for what palette I should use in the month of June, let me know so I have time to grab it and I can start videos for next month. Okay, mamas, that's everything I had today. I hope you have a good one. Bye, mamas.